I'm back today with a layout using a photo of my son and I'm going to focus on the idea of a quote. So I have a quote that goes with my photo and I want to be able to use that quote as a huge part of my layout. So I'm just going through some wood veneer here. I have pulled a lot of products from a cherry on top and I've also pulled these adorable epoxy stickers from Scrap and Happy Studio. You can see here all the products we're going to use. More of those Prima numbers that I love. And then I have some One Can You Two Saturday Afternoon products and then lots of fun wood veneer. So let's get started on this layout. I'm going to start by using a white cardstock as my base and I'm using the 6x8 paper pad so I'm going to flick through the paper pad and I am looking for two sheets of the same pattern that will work with my photo. I have done this, I have used this paper pad for a couple of projects now so I um, don't have doubles of all of the patterns but I have this fun blue pattern that I think would be really really nice and kind of set my photo off and that's the one I'm going to decide to use. So I'm going to use what for me for me is a go-to design which is to center everything down the middle of the page and have a few things maybe popping out but for the most part everything is going to be centered down the middle of this page. It's a design that I use quite often. Definitely a go-to design for me and so I'm going to go ahead and use that. I'm just going to line the papers up and kind of create a large band right down the middle. I decided I wanted to give this band a little something extra, um, a, little, uh, a little texture. And so what I'm doing is I took this coral paper from the 6x8 pad and I cut 1 inch squares or 1 inch strips. So I cut the entire paper 1 inch strips. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to tear them um, kind of in half some of them not it just depends on what the tear looks like and if I felt like it needed a little bit more white and then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add some tape runner and I'm going to tuck these strips of torn paper into the edges of my main band this is a really really easy technique I'm not using anything fancy except for my fingers and I'm going to go ahead and just roll up that paper on the edges just to give it some texture and some dimension and interest and I'm going to keep doing that over and over and over again until I have layers and layers and layers of these torn edges. So there's my first one but I'm going to keep going. I'm going to use all of the strips and the entire 6 by 8 sheet of paper including the off cuts so sometimes some of these strips kind of hung off the edge and I trimmed them off and then I added those as well and it's going to just create a lot of interest and a lot of layers and then the rest of my layout is going to be contained into that band in the down the middle but those edges are going to give it uh, just a ton of interest and fun you can see here how I'm just tucking in more of those scraps. These are just little off cuts and I'm literally just tucking them in almost creating I don't want to call it a ruffle because this is a boy layout but that's the best thing that I can think of it and it's not a real ruffle because these are torn edges and so I'm just getting them placed down and then rolling them up with my fingers. And you can see there how much texture and how cool that looks when it's all finished. I love how it looks. So this is my photo. This is a photo of my youngest son with our dogs. And I snapped this photo because of something that he said while he was sitting on the floor petting the dogs. And so I wrote it down when he said it. I snapped the picture and now I want to document his quote because if my youngest son is like the funniest kid ever you guys like he oh my word he comes up and says the funniest stuff you get a little bit of his personality when he does YouTube little YouTube videos for me but um, 
you just don't even see like the day-to-day -day stuff this kid says is so cute and funny he comes up with the best best quotes and um I feel like I'm missing documenting some of those quotes and so I'm trying really hard to kind of get those quotes on paper on two pages and this is one of those quotes so the main part of this layout uh, is going to be the lettering there's going to be a huge title and it's going to be um, kind of like the the highlight of the page or maybe even the focus of the page so I'm going to flip through all these die cuts and I'm going to basically create a collage of elements uh, and some of the elements are a little random some of the elements um, are not and that's okay I just wanted uh, your eye to be able to kind of travel down through the page and really get the idea of what what we're doing here um you know what what's going on we're just in our house so I used the house I liked the let's be lazy because the dogs are sunbathing I liked the enjoy today I thought that worked with the quote that I'm going to use and I really wanted just to make it really really fun so here I am the longest part of this layout the part that took the absolute longest was placing all of these letter stickers so I'm using some older Ellie studio letter stickers I love these letter stickers and this font I don't really think you can find them anymore but I bought them in all the colors all the colors and so I'm just going through and I'm started my quote uh, up above with the banner and the quote is going to move all the way down and actually overlap and go into some of the quiet space in the photo and the quote is petting a dog while they sunbathe is the fastest way to become happy and he said that <laughs> and I was like that is so cool that's so sweet so I have a picture of him be petting our dogs while they sunbathe and I have his quote for happy I switched to a scripty font um I can't remember now if it's because I was running out of letters or if it was just because I wanted something a little scripty down there and it filled in that space really nicely and those are thickers they're called Heidi thickers I think and they're also white so I've added the speech bubble these are Kaiser Craft wood veneer speech bubble and since I'm documenting a uh since I'm documenting a quote, I thought, oh, speech bubbles would be perfection for this layout. And then I also have these adorable epoxy flare from Scrap and Happy Studio, which I'm currently obsessed with. And then I'm going to fill in the kind of like the quiet spaces, some of the quiet spaces in my collage with just stuff that represents my son or our dogs. Uh, so up at the top and some of it may seem a bit random but it's not random to me like the little bowler hat and the the bow ties that's up in the glasses that's 100% my child so I felt like they would be the perfect little additions to this page and then I'm going to use those metal numbers at the bottom um, I added a three because there's three things in the photo, my son and the two dogs. And then at the bottom, I put his name and then I put his age using those metal numbers from Prima. I love those metal numbers from Prima. They are super, super cute. I will go ahead and link all the products below on the YouTube video in case you feel like shopping. Um, if you're part of the Rediscover Your Stash Facebook group, then you know that next month is spending freeze month. But this month is buy all the things month. So I'll be showing lots and lots of products that you might want to grab before you do your spending freeze in June. Here is a close up of my layout. I think this turned out fabulous. Thank you so much for joining me today. Have a wonderful, a wonderful Thursday. And I will see you all again on National Scrapbook Day. Bye.